Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, I've quoted this many times. I've told you, as the warnings from the Bible and Jesus, that in the end time, the love of many will grow cold and lawlessness will abound. We're seeing that drastically and in, in, in stories that I'm going to share with you today, you'll see the lawlessness again come to the fore. And the love of many growing cold is evident everywhere around us as a sign of the times that we're living in. Um, this story ties in exactly with that. But there's one thing I'll point out to you. Most people see the core of the story, but they don't see the root of the problem. Bodybuilder streams his wife's murder on Instagram live. Okay, The fact that he could even do that and Instagram didn't stop it is already a huge red flag for you as to where the society is and what kind of entertainment it's demanding right now. Nerman Sulejmanovic, 35 years old, filmed a series of videos documenting his violent murder sprees, killing three people and injuring an additional three people in the town of Gradakak in the country's northeastern region. He took to Instagram on Friday, posting a video on the platform with an announcement. They would witness a live execution, according to New York Post. So, He's made an intro video and posted it saying you're going to see a live execution. Why did Instagram not shut him down right there? Immediately alert the authorities, send it to his house. No. After posting the video, he turned the camera to his ex-wife, whose face was evident of injuries, bloodied and disfigured. And then, I'm not even going to read what he said because it's disgusting. And then he announced what he was going to do. The post also reported a child could be heard crying in the background. 12,000 plus people tuned in for the live viewing of the murder. The now deceased guy announced to his followers he was displeased with his ex-wife's attempts to keep the child from crying. Before pointing the gun and shooting her, he asked viewers if they were watching. Here, watch the murder live now, nice and easy. Are you watching? He then goes ahead and kills her and then he says... Someone come and save the child. Then he posted two more videos while the police were in pursuit, telling his viewers of the other murders he had committed, and eventually he turned the gun on himself. 12,000 people tuned in to watch. How sick is that? Of those 12,000 people, how many of them alerted authorities or tried to get someone to that place to stop this? How many alerted Instagram that this was going down because Instagram might not have known? They definitely knew. It, it's an evil, sick, twisted society. I mean, I've said years ago already, this is the society we're living in now where you're walking down a main street in a city. You can get mugged, attacked, murdered. And people will keep walking right past the incident because they don't want to be involved. It does not involve them. So why should they put themselves at risk? What happened to helping each other and brotherly love and all those wonderful things that we're supposed to have in our society? It's gone. Lawlessness abounds. The love of many, I would dare to go as far, as, far and say most, has grown cold. And that it gets to a point where it's this sick. They want to ban people for saying things they don't agree with against their agendas. And they shut those accounts down faster than you can say. If I post a YouTube video with the wrong words in them, I get flags before it goes live. Little different colored flags warning me, watch yourself. We're watching you. But they couldn't watch this guy who warned everyone he was going to stream a murder. That's a snuff film. That's fine. He didn't get any flags or warnings. Because that is the world we're living in. We have to keep shining our light. We have to keep standing up for what's right. And we have to keep making a difference, people. Because when we're gone, this is going to be the norm. And people will enjoy this openly. Because those who speak out against it, and those who point out the darkness and the pit of hell that it comes from will be gone. And those that turn to Christ in that time will be running. And that's why, whether you think you're making a difference in the world or not, we are. We're holding back a flood of darkness. 
that is going to overwhelm most when this whole thing kicks off. And we're doing that by the power of Jesus Christ. Nothing else. So stand and run your race and shine your light while we have time. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.